It's a big, beautiful train shop in Hamburg with just a minor ghost problem. Owner Rick Fisher says all kinds of strange things happen around here. I had heard rumors that a couple of fellows that worked for the previous owner wouldn't come here at night. They wouldn't work after hours, they were afraid to. The building, an actual train station, was built in the 1800s. As near as we can tell, the building was built sometime between 1850 and 1865. The spirits can be quite active, according to Rick. The trains will take off all by themselves. Door slam. This one here will just pop open. If you try and open it, it don't pop open. One night, the alarm went off, and the police suggested that Rick get over to the shop. So I get up here. The cops are already here watching the building. They want to come on in. They come on in. All these books on the counter were stacked on the floor in a pile. Nobody walked into the store. All the doors were still locked. Everything was still closed. According to Rick, it's not just train enthusiasts who flock here. He's had a few ghost hunters, too. We had the RIP investigators come in here, that's regional investigators of the paranormal. The investigators recorded video and electronic voice prints. These are soundtracks of people actually speaking from the beyond. Sounds scary. What do they say? I didn't listen to it yet, that sort of scares me. <laughs> Rick says the spirit that haunts this train station may be someone who actually worked here at one time. One of the ghost investigators identified him. She actually talked to one of the ghosts, supposedly, uh, said it was Arthur Kent. And when we looked into that, Arthur Kent used to be a station master here, and he died of a heart attack on the job. Brick says earthly visitors, as well as those from beyond, are welcome at Artcraft Toy Trains. So far, the ghost has done nothing nasty or violent. I don't see anything to be afraid of. For the Now Buffalo, I'm Mike Randall.